So let's go ahead and see if we can um, solve this for the, the example query to start with. So what I got from uh, reading that question was that we've got this repository of customer reviews that we want to search through. And we've got this customer query that we want to match against that repository. So the way that I'm thinking to do that is to um, sort the repository, uh, because I think it said that the results need to be sorted alphabetically. So I'll sort the repository for first in alphabetical order. Um, after I do that, I would like to walk through the customer query. And so I'll just kind of like build a temporary query. So every time they type a character, well, that'll be one iteration of a loop. Um, and then eventually we'll go from nothing all the way up to the full query term. And for each one of those query terms, we'll just do a simple brute force um, for loop across the repository and see uh, what we found. And then we'll just add that list in and then we'll return the result. And that should be what we need to do to solve this problem. So that's kind of how I'm thinking about it. So let's start off. Uh, I think the first thing I said was that I was going to do a sorted list. So I'm going to create a sorted repository right here. So equals new array list. And I'm going to use the constructor argument that allows you to pass in another list and just copy it over. And then I'm going to call collections.sort on my sorted repository. You can see I'm auto-completing as I go for some of these things. So we've got a sorted repository now, pretty simple. And so now I'm going to do uh, kind of the temporary customer query thing that I mentioned a second ago. So we're going to go from I to uh, the end of customer query dot length. That isn't auto-completing. Sometimes auto-complete uh, has some issues, so I'll just type it out. Um, and I'm going to create a string called temp query. That's going to equal customer query dot substring. And we'll go from, oops, subsequence. That's not what I want. We'll go from 0 to i. So that should make it so that every iteration of this for loop, it's going to expand uh, that query. Uh, one thing that's kind of interesting here, you can actually see that I've got a compile error right here, which I do not think should be a compile error. Uh, that happens occasionally with HackerRank. Um, a, quickly, a quick way to do that to just double check, you can just switch to another language and then switch back to the language you were using, and it won't delete any of the stuff you had. And now we can see that my code is uh, compiling correctly. Uh, so we've got the temp query created. So now uh, I think the next thing I said I was going to do was walk through the repository. So we'll do string word that we're going to check uh, on sorted repository. And then uh, we'll just say if temp, sorry, if word starts with uh, temp query, adding my temp query in here, then we'll go ahead and add it to uh, this list that I forgot to create. Great. <laughs> Um, so at the top here, we'll create um, this list. We'll call this um, a single pass result, because this will represent one pass. So then at this point, we'll say single pass result dot add word. And down here, we're going to take our return value. That's our list of lists and add that single pass result. And then uh, we'll return that at the end. 